Hey guys, so since summer is quickly approaching, I decided that I was going to compile a list of 10 books that I want to read this summer. Now of course I want to read all the books in my TBR, which is probably as tall as a skyscraper by now, but these are some of the books that I really, really want to read. Books that are kind of tugging me toward them. I said before that I am a sporadic reader, so my feelings towards these books might change tomorrow. Nevertheless, these are books that I have yet to read, books that I bought because I want to read, obviously. So I'm going to try to get through them this summer. Also, if you guys are wondering why there isn't an intro to this video as opposed to my most anticipated releases video, um, it's because I was testing a few things out and I didn't really like the intro as much as I was hoping I would. I don't know. I didn't really like it, but I had already uploaded the video so I couldn't edit it out. If it looks kind of weird, I apologize, but yeah, I was just testing the waters with that a little bit. So the first book that I have on this list is The Princess Bride by William Goldman, which, oh my gosh, I've had this for such a long time, and I do not know why I haven't read it yet, because The Princess Bride is one of my favorite movies of all time. I mean, it has action, adventure, pirates. <laughs> Love this story so much. I definitely want to get through this one this summer. Next I have The Naming by Alison Crogan, which is another book that I've had for a very long time now. But Emily May, who is a book reviewer, I will leave her Goodreads page link down below. And she does YouTube videos every once in a while, so I'll leave her channel link below as well. But I've been following her for a long time, and I've come to trust her reviews. And she rated this one pretty highly, so that's what made me want to read it. It is a fantasy novel, and I love fantasy. I've had this book sitting on my shelf, unread, for way too long. So I need to read it. Next I have The Star Touch Queen by Roshani Chokshi, which is a Hades and Persephone retelling. Hades and Persephone is one of my favorite stories from Greek mythology. Jody Meadows, author of the Orphan Queen series, says, In one word, glorious. With vibrant, elegant language, Roshani Chokshi draws readers through a magical journey from one world to another, filled with dire horoscopes, reincarnation, and true love. So aside from the awesome blurbs, I've heard a lot of great things about this book, and I mean... It just sounds like it's gonna be a great summer read. The next book that I have is A Northern Light by Jennifer Donnelly, and this is a historical fiction novel. I feel like no good book list is complete without at least one historical fiction book. Historical fiction is like one of my favorite genres, so I had to include one. This is another book that I've had for some time now, so I'm excited to get to this one. The next book that I have is Uprooted by Naomi Novik. So this is a dark fairy tale like story with dragons and Publishers Weekly compared it to Grimm's Fairy Tales, which I love. So I know I'm gonna enjoy this. And I think this is gonna be perfect for summer if it's a fairy tale like story. I feel like any fairy tale like story will be perfect for summer. Next I have Tiger Lily by Jodie Lynn Anderson. And I actually already started reading this one, but I put it down because I'm trying to focus on my rainbow TBR picks. I'm only like a few pages in, so I can't really give you any opinions or anything on it. I'm still working my way through it. But this is definitely one that I want to finish this summer. This is another book that Emily May left a really good review for, so that is why I purchased it, because of her. And Tinkerbell is in this book. I like Tinkerbell. I don't know all that much about Tiger Lily. I'm not sure if she's actually in the original story or not. But apparently before there was Wendy and Peter Pan, there was Tiger Lily and Peter Pan. So I'm interested to see that whole situation, how that whole situation plays out. Then I have Passenger by Alexandra Bracken, which I was actually going to try to read three months ago and forgot. Or, well, there were other books that, you know grasped my attention, so I kind of didn't, obviously. But yeah, I want to read this one this summer. This is a time travel novel, and I love time travel stories so much. I believe a lot of this story takes place, like, on a ship. This is so perfect for summer because you know how you like to get wet in summer? Let's just say you're in a situation or, like, at the moment you can't go swimming or anything, but it's, like, really hot. You can read this and imagine you are surrounded by water. I just think, yeah, that's, yes, yes. So I should wait till a really hot day to read this when I can't, when I have no access to water. 
My next book also has lots of water and it is Deep Blue by Jennifer Donnelly. I really like this map. It's all water. <laughs> There's one on the back too. This book is about mermaids living in the ocean, so this will be a pretty refreshing read for summer. My next book is Across the Nightingale Floor by Lan Hearn, and I really hope that I pronounced that the right way. I'm sorry if I didn't, but this is a Japanese fantasy novel with assassins, and this is an international bestseller, so it'll probably be pretty good. And last but not least, I have Clockwork Angel by Cassandra Clare. This is the first book in a prequel trilogy to the Mortal Instruments series. I am currently on book four of the Mortal Instruments series and I'm really enjoying it. So I picked up all the books in the Infernal Devices series and I've heard that this series is better. So I'm really looking forward to reading it. So those were my 10 picks, but like I said in the beginning of this video, my TBR pile is like so high. There's so many books I want to read. I'm planning to participate in the Harry Potter readathon. I will leave the information down below. I also want to read I Believe in a Thing Called Love by Maureen Gu, Flame in the Mist by Renee Audier. I want to read the second book in the Shatter Me trilogy by Tahara Mafi. And of course, I just made a list of my most anticipated summer releases, so I want to get to those too. There are just so many books that I want to read. Hopefully, I can tackle a lot of them. What are you guys planning on reading this summer? Please let me know in the comment section below so I can check them out. Thanks so much for watching. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more. See you guys next time. Oh.